What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with some fantastic news for Dragon Ball Fighters. As just recently shown in Jump for the Monthly, so we have a ton of news to talk about, and since the patch for the game dropped today, I thought we'd talk a little bit about the patch and whether or not it's effective, and we'll get to that later on in the video because we gotta get to this big news first. That big news being that both Broly and Bardock have been confirmed to have their own dramatic finishes. Obviously this is great news because dramatic finishes are always awesome, but it also tells us that Bandai is looking to do more with these DLC characters than just release the characters alone. So let's look with the clips they went for for these characters. So we have Broly and his dramatic finishes versus Goku. As you can see here, it's when Goku lands his miracle punch against Broly and absolutely destroys him, which is really cool. I know a lot of people wanted to see him have a dramatic intro, but who knows, maybe they'll do that later down the line, or it might just come with him. We can only talk about what's confirmed so far, so let's get right into Bardock's dramatic finish which of course is his classic moment against Frieza when he's wiped away with Planet Vegeta. Personally, I'm really looking forward to this as Bardock is definitely my preferred character out of the two, and I really like this moment from the show. I'm really interested in seeing how they tackle Bardock's vision of Goku in the future though. Now that we got the great news out of the way, let's get into the upsetting stuff, which is that this magazine has no mention of when these characters are being released. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you may remember me pointing out that last time in the Shonen Jump, it said that the next issue would contain the release dates for these characters, and as I just said, they're absent in this one. That leads me to believe that they probably ran into some issues with these characters, which really messed up their release schedule, which is probably why it took so long for us to get the Broly trailer, and we're probably not going to see these characters for at least another week to two weeks. Another thing revealed in this Shonen Jump was that Chi Chi, Videl, and 18 are all getting their own little commentator packs. This isn't really the biggest news, but I thought it would be nice to mention. Now let's get into my thoughts for the new patch. Obviously this patch set out to address some server issues and fix the ring match issues, but it also added the Z Union and fixed a bunch of bugs. But did it actually accomplish any of that? And my answer to that would be, yes, it actually did everything it set out to do. Obviously, this is all anecdotal to me, but the servers for ranked matches seem much quicker than they ever have been before. And I tried for like a good 30 minutes to find a ring match that would say no rooms found, and I didn't find a single one that did that. Which, if I tried that before this patch, would not have gave me the same results. It would have been trying to find one that worked in 30 minutes. Now I'm having the completely opposite experience. And I also really like the union aspect. As you can see, they have all the characters on the game available here and it pops up when you're matching up with opponents, and it shows during the loading screen of the match, which brings a bit more personality to your player card, which is always welcome. It is kind of weird though, seeing how you can have your favorite character, both as your icon and as your banner. As you can see here, this guy likes Goku and I like Krillin. So he has a Goku picture, a Goku banner, and I have a Krillin picture and a Krillin banner. So I think if they really want to update the player card, they should probably release some new and interesting banners. That's all we have to talk about today. We had some good news with the dramatic finishes being revealed, which shows that they are interested in doing more things like this for DLC characters. We didn't get that reveal date which we were promised, and the update turned out really, really well. Down in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the dramatic finishes being revealed, or anything else we covered in this video. And once again, I do want to thank my patrons over on Patreon for helping support this channel. I'll be down in the comments as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.